Thank you all for being here. Let's just jump in. Today, due to popular demand, a lot of people, including Sanjay, wanted to know the impact of Metcalfe's law on Ethereum. And I went one further. So this is a fun one for those who like numbers and math and all that type of stuff. So let's just jump in without further ado. So first of all, this is edutainment. There's going to be a lot of price projections here. And again, it's based on Metcalf's law, not on me. And uh, I did a lot of work with another video, Metcalf's law for Bitcoin. And based on all of our modeling, this is a conservative model. I have many, many models. But the Bitcoin price, conservatively, if Bitcoin hits 1 billion users, could theoretically go between $1 million and $3.4 million by the year 2030. Again, if we get to 1 billion users and Metcalf's Law holds. Remember, we broke it down, broke it down a million different ways, and we discovered that Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, although they have significantly diverged from its network value, Metcalf's Law does hold for ETH and Bitcoin, and the square of the number of users explains between 81.75% of Ethereum's price variation and 83.5% of Bitcoin's price variation. So we have actually proven that. And uh, if you want to, if you want to check that video, I'll add it up here after this as well. So let's talk about some conservative prices as well. This is from JB Coots of Bloomberg. I pulled it from his site, but the key takeaway here is if it does hold, you know, by September 2025. Jamie believes that Ethereum could go to over 5,000. And we've been there before, so it wouldn't surprise me actually if... Well, I'm going to show you some numbers that are a lot more bullish than this. But again, based on Bitcoin. So let's enter the Equinometrics study. And uh, I love these guys. But this is their sort of true value based on Metcalf's law for Ethereum to reach the if it reached the current market cap of Apple, it would need anywhere, according to them, between 600,000 and 1.1 million daily active users. Remember, Ethereum is already around 500,000, and that's the big divergence that I see from Metcalf's law. And for Ethereum to reach current market size of gold, they would need anywhere between 800,000 and 1.3 million daily active users. So I decided to take the high road. I took 1.2 million daily active users, way above their range of 600 to 1.1. I called it 1.2 to reach the market cap of Apple and 1.5 million to reach the market cap of gold. Remember, it goes up pretty exponential with the as the users double, triple, etc. Now, what this chart actually shows you is the number of daily active addresses and it goes darker red once you go up to a million users. Blue is kind of down at quarter of a million users and all the ranges between. And they created this beautiful graph of where the range sits. Range of active addresses to match the mark cap of Apple, the first line that's horizontal, and my big green arrow, and the range of active addresses to match the market size of gold. That is 1.5 million daily active users. So let's look at what these market caps look like. First of all, Apple and gold market caps. Gold is $12.114 trillion. Apple, $2.356 trillion. So what? where does that bring us now? I'm going to get into some modeling. So I want you to have this warning. Theoretical models based on Metcalf's law. I made a theoretical model where we decoded what a stable coin looks like. And I said, theoretically, Luna could go to a certain number. And of course, it blew up. <laughs> but it was a theoretical model. I said a thousand times. People didn't get that. It's like, ooh, this guy said, you know, I think Rob says it very well. It's thumbnail shopping or thumbnail <laughs> advice. Anyway, that's why I always say warnings. And in fact, on that Luna video, it was a full warning mentioned three or four times in that video too. Uh, not just once. This will only be once anyway. So these are the relative market caps based on Equinometrics. So today, the ETH price is 12581 ETH supply is 120,490,000 tokens, but that's going down ever so slightly, but I assumed it's stable. And the ETH market cap today is $202 billion, which is quite a lot of money. Um, Apple, uh, to hit the uh, Apple price, again, 
We'll talk more about that, but the most important thing is what the ETH market cap would be. It would be 2.356. Ignore the price on the left, and gold market cap we'd covered already. So this is the breakdown of the number. Again, ignore the ETH price on the left. Uh, just look at the ETH price on the right, and the numbers are right, except for the one on the left isn't. But if you take that same ETH supply being the same, if it does hit the market cap of Apple with that number of daily active users, a reminder, this is based on this chart here, 1.2 million daily active users. We believe if the model holds, the ETH market cap could go to 2.3 trillion, which would be the equivalent of the Apple market cap. That would take the ETH price, assuming the ETH supply of 120 million, of 19,500. Pretty staggering. Now, what happens if the ETH price is mapping to the gold market cap? Well, the gold market cap, as we mentioned, is 12.114 trillion. ETH supply, 120 million, 500,000. That would mean the ETH price is exactly $100,000. I know these are crazy numbers. Um, a lot of people do talk about Bitcoin hitting gold market cap at one stage. And if ETH matches or flips Bitcoin, we could get there too. Now, I decided to do a little Solana thought experiment because some people were interested in this too. So if ETH does go to the Apple or gold market cap, what price would Solana be if it makes it to 20% Ethereum market cap? I'm going to throw the warning up one more time. It's a theoretical model, everybody, based on Metcalfe's law. What would happen to Solana? Now, my base case for Solana is 20% of ETH market cap. It's got to be worth at least a fifth of that, and it's nowhere near that right now. It's less than 5%, like 4% of ETH market cap. So it does have a long way to go to get there. It's easy a 5x just to catch up to ETH uh, from here. Now, Solana price of ETH price is at the Apple market cap. Again, look to the right. You have the market cap, 20% of ETH market cap at the Apple market cap is 20% of that 2.3 trillion, which is 471 billion divided by the Sol supply, 378 million. That would mean Sol would be worth $1,246 a piece. Interesting. Probably gets people crazy, but what happens if it hits gold's market cap? Wow, that would be crazy. Um, that would take us up to $6,400 a token at a market cap of 20% of gold, which is $11 trillion, is about $2.4 trillion. Again, assuming the sole supply is $378,000, but sole inflation is very low, so it'll go a little bit higher as we go over time, but not too much more. So again, these are crazy numbers, everybody. Don't take them to the bank. It's a theoretical model you asked me to run through, and there we are. So, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, the big question is, really, ETH, could it hit this crazy number if it flipped Bitcoin and Bitcoin with matched gold? $100,000 in ETH? Wow. <laughs> you just need 10 ETH to have a very good life. But again, with recent stuff that I've showed as well, a lot of people now expect to retire well. You need 3 to $5 million to retire. So... A million dollars may not cut it anymore, ladies and gentlemen. So you might, if ETH was to do this, you'd need 30 to 50 of them to be comfortable. Or the equivalent value in Bitcoins. Anyway, thank you all for being here. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you all soon. Back at base.